Hey everybody, just thought I'd make a quick little video here. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where you start collecting something for maybe future projects and then before you know it, things get a little out of hand? I'm dealing with that right now, you know, with my wood situation. I used to, you know, kind of collect up, like down there is a big old pile of um, used cedar and I was... I had a whole bunch of pallet wood that I finally got rid of and so I'm kind of slowly turning over my stock from kind of cheap wood to nicer wood so I have a lot of cherry now and some walnut and then um, there's more walnut and a whole bunch of sheet goods that I don't really know what to do with but that's not what this video is about this video is about something completely different so um, Back when I first started woodworking, obviously, I couldn't afford the tools that I wanted. And so I always had these ambitious ideas of making my own tools. Um, and I still plan on doing some. You know, like, I do plan on making a disc sander. Not because I think I can make it better, but just because I think it'll be fun to make one. And it's a simple tool. There's not a whole lot to it, and I think that I'd be able to pull it off pretty well. Um, and then maybe if I get... More ambitious, I'd like to make a maybe a drum sander or something, but that's way down the road. In the meantime, I started collecting motors um, with the idea of things that I could build out of these motors. And as I am going through the process of cleaning up my shop and organizing it for the winter, you know, I got like my motorcycle stuff here, my big motorcycles back there behind the tool cart. Um, I I'm getting to this shelf that I'm organizing. So down there is all motorcycle uh, body parts. And then I got my chainsaw um, shelf. And then this is the motor shelf. And um, as I gathered all my motors together, I kind of got surprised at how many I had. And so I thought I'd go through them real quick. And maybe you guys can give me some suggestions on some things that I can use these motors for. So this is a scroll cage fan motor. Basically it comes out of a furnace. And the same goes for that guy back there. They're both half horsepower motors. This guy here I believe is a half horsepower motor and it came, it came off of a heater fan, like a steam heater in an industrial setting. Uh, the capacitor went out on it so all I gotta do is just get a new capacitor for it. This came out of an industrial chemical pump. I don't even know if it'll work. You can see it's pretty corroded. That was the first one. This this is what started the journey of hoarding motors, was grabbing this guy. But I probably won't keep that one. Um, I got this. This is a little... Uh, it came out of um, a bakery supply place, and it's a little... It came off a little mixer, quarter horsepower motor. And then I started finding bigger motors and saving them. So these two are identical. They are one horsepower motors. They come from um, industrial paint mixing stations for auto mixing automotive paints. This guy I found at the junkyard, brand new. Somebody just threw it out. I don't know what possesses somebody to do that. I'm sure there's some type of a tax write-off or some type of write-off for that, but this is a brand new motor. It's a Dayton one horsepower motor. So it's never been used. This guy came off of a combo disc and belt sander um, from an industrial setting. They upgraded the motor and gave me this one horsepower motor and you can see it's a jet. And then there's this beast here. This monster came off of an industrial pressure washer. It is a two horsepower motor. It still has part of the pump attached to it because I haven't figured out how to separate it from the pump yet. But you know, I could make some I could make some pretty cool stuff out of this guy because it's a monster of a motor. And a bunch of these are dual voltage capable. So this is, you know, 115, 230. This is 110, 220, I think. This guy is also, and I believe these two one horsepower ones are. And I wouldn't be surprised if a couple of these guys, especially the ones with capacitors, are also uh, switchable. So Anyway, what should I do with these motors? And don't say give them to me because, you know, I can't ship them. They're, 
heavy and um, but I'd love to come up with a good project. Like I said, I've already got one project in mind, a 12 inch, maybe minimum 12 inch disc sander. I don't know with a one horsepower motor, I don't know if I could do more than 12 inches, maybe 15 inches. I want to do a standard size that I can get discs for easily. Um, but give me some ideas. I'd love to know your thoughts on what I could do with all those different sizes and types of motors. Uh, maybe some of these motors are completely useless for anything that would be um, used in a woodworking environment. I don't know. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Thanks guys for watching. I'll talk to you later.